Hello Share Bears. Today's video is going to be kind of like a little makeup basket, but it's not going to be like a timed one. These are just items because I've been focusing so much on my project pans and a lot of the items in my project pans are neutrals and kind of, I don't know, winter, fall type colors. I've decided because it is spring and I'm kind of feeling the spring thing, I decided that I was going to pull in a few products that I want to focus on a little bit, make them work with my project pans. So, and also I'd like to say that you probably won't see much progress on my project pans because I have a bunch of items that I got for my birthday that I will be working on doing reviews on. So I'll be trying those out too. So it's going to be kind of a conglomeration that the next couple months may not be so fantastic. <laughs> for lack of a better word. But I did want to jump on here and show you the items I kind of pulled out that made me feel spring if for lack of a better word so the first thing I'm going to start with is a lipstick because most of my lipsticks are nude they're nude plain and simple I chose a color from Quo and this is Orchid which is more pink than nude so I will be using this I'm actually wearing this today and I had lip gloss on over it it was beautiful I liked it it made me feel springy the next item is I haven't been setting my face much because I didn't like the powder that was in my project and you know just get I'm just not gonna use it so I did pull out this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This leaves kind of a shine on my skin, but not like almost a glow, but not, you can't even see it. I don't know why I'm showing you. But I used this today to set my foundation and I found it just gave me the right amount of glow. They didn't have to use a uh, highlighter or anything just to get that nice glow but it set the foundation I was wearing so I've pulled this into it too and I have a little box here that I'm sticking these in next you're going to talk about the glow what's better in spring than a nice pink blush and this is Heavenly Pink by Avon it is one of my favorite pink blushes. Uh, you really have to fill it up to see it, but there it is beside the lipstick. So I've chosen that blush, not to use exclusively, but to use, and a cheeky pop and rosy pop from Clinique. I'm not trying to pan these items, I'm just trying to work some other color in, and that is cheeky, or rosy pop. So, there you go. Those are pretty. Then, I chose a few eyeshadows. Like I said, all my stuff is like neutral. So, what says spring better than pastels? If you don't know where I'm going, let me tell you actually, this was kind of hard to find colors that I wanted to work into this spring type look. I have a lot of neutrals, a lot. I think that if I saw a palette that was colorful or pastel but had good color payoff, it has to have good color payoff. I would probably snatch it up right now because I have a lot of neutral. A lot of neutral. Um, I do have Makeup Geek and I do have ColourPop that are more pinky and purples in there. But for like a nice pastel color, 
the only one I could pull out was my Kat Von D Pastel Goth. I'm actually wearing three of these colors today. Yes, three. I have Clementine and Meow and Hope oh, in my crease. I'm pretty sure that's how. Maybe it's dope. Might be dope. Not sure. Maybe dope. So those are the ones I, yeah, it's dope. Because <laughs> the next one's Doom or Boom. One of the two. <laughs> so that is what I am using today. And I also used on the lid, I used a color from my Sweetest Candy from Went and Wild. And I used this one. These had to be repressed. They came broken. I was sad, but I did use this on my lid and I used this on my brow bone. These are nice softer colors. Not neutral, neutral, but still neutral. And then I have two other eyeshadows. These are just singles and they are perfect for the spring. These are my Milani singles in the Bella collection. So this one is Bella Rose, which is pink, and it doesn't look at on screen, but these add a great pop of shine to your lid, which is how I use them. And Bella Pink, which is more, I don't know, it's more of a lavender to me right there so yeah I just wanted to throw that out there that sometimes I just don't want to work with all these colors that I have in my project pans I'm human sue me so that's everything much love and actually comment down below what you like to wear in the spring what makes you feel spring like be interesting to hear. Much love, and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, sunshiny day. Bye for now.